Hello, uh, I'm going to tie a caddis pattern uh, like this with a snowshoe for the wings and uh, this caddis pattern I got an inspiration to tie when I first saw my friend's hedgehog imitation. Of course he used uh, deer or elk for his wings but at that time I really liked to use snowshoe because it was easy to maintain and it floated really well even today I like to use it because it's one of the best materials so the hook is barbless because I, I don't like to hurt fish more than I need to uh, it's easy to remove it even easy more easily penetrates to, through the fish's drawer and uh, for this one I will use the Hiku uh, size 12 301 it's really nice dry fly hook I love it. So, I will start everything with black thread covering the whole hook body, uh, making a nice layer. I will make successive turns, cover the whole shank. So, I will make the fly as simple as possible. Uh, so, now I'm going to use a mixture of dubbing, uh, which is basically Wildcat dyed green, a little bit of uh, UV dubbing and a little bit of CDC, so it's really nice dubbing. I made it myself, uh, I customized it, so now I will use it on this fly. This fly is not pretty one, it's a pushy, full of movement, it, it suggests, suggests li li live insect. So I will make a foundation on the back of the side of the hook side of the hook and uh, now I will use snowshoe I will use short one because I don't need long fibers for this part of the fly so I will just cut small bunch of it and I'll prepare it for tying so what you need to do is to remove those two stiff hairs and remove the under fur under fur is not welcomed here so it's really very useful if you have nails so you can pull it out or some people use comb so when I prepared it I make a nice bunch of it so just press it against this ball I made here and it will hold it up now the first layer of thread helps uh, to hold this snowshoe well into position because it makes sandwich with the second layer I'm, I'm, I'm just making right now so this is impossible to pull out right now now after the first segment I will add second the body same dubbing maybe you can add hot spot for the back or egg sack whatever uh, but I like to make it simple and plain and I will use only one color for everything because even natural insects they don't have so many colors on, on themselves I will add some more dubbing I like to make it fat and bushy I think that fish like it more like this especially on the waters where I fish them broken water uh, so the fly doesn't have to be uh, really neat so now I will choose some longer fibers for my front section and I'll do the same I remove those hairs from the top and I remove this under fur so tight in really tight if you can so sometimes it has curve so that curve should bend uh, should lean on the top of the back part okay make it like by some angle align it by some angle here hold it with your fingers and really really tight wraps will help hold it into place okay I'll cut this part here okay 
now it's time to add one of my favorite materials partridge most of the people they use neck part but I like part from the back because it has more natural color to match this insect here and I like partridge because it adds additional movement to the fly you can add rubber legs if you like but I found partridge to be perfect for this purpose so when you cut the excess you take your pliers okay grab it by the tip be gentle because it's soft and yes leave the thread behind the feather okay look you see I said be gentle and I wasn't gentle enough happens sometimes and the phone is too close I'm sorry I don't have a good camera so I need to use it like this I'll go with the thread through the feather okay and now I can just cut it like this okay. now I like to divide those legs into two sides most of them like this because legs are supposed to be on the sides, not on the bottom. Now I will use some more dubbing and I will finish my fly. This dubbing is uh, to hold legs into position. So I will use it like this. Okay, check if your legs are good. Now hold them and with dubbing position them into place. Now it looks ugly, but never mind, soon it will look nice. Finish your fly with two whip finishes, no need to add varnish and cut off the thread. Now I'm going to use a tool that I've made, a little bit of velcro. So I will brush my fly from the sides each side a little bit this way the fly will be even more bushier and it's flat so it will lay low on the surface uh, which is which I found really important when fishing caddis uh, fish are much more ready to raise from the bottom on the, on the, the surface and take low riding fly than high floating fly so you can brush it a little bit here and now this is the finished fly you can see that there is some sh shine effect because of the UV dubbing uh, this white part will you, you will be able to see through it and you will be able to see it even in dark so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will have a lot of fun fishing this fly thank you for watching and Bye-bye.